All right, yes, so welcome back to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this morning. Now, this segment will be in a segment where we know they take for joke at all at all because it consigns um, certain things where they happen for inside our society. And that's why we get this very casual guest for inside the studio. Now, before I actually introduce the guest, I'm going to talk about domestic violence. I'm going to talk about the statistics. What will they get? Because for the year 2018, according to Premium Times, over 30,000 cases... Over 30,000 cases now in the report on top of domestic um, violence in 16 months. And of course, right now, with the say that number, you know, they go down at all at all. It's getting higher as the day goes by. Now, for our society, people don't they come out, they try to talk. They try to talk about the, their own um, situation and their own story. But we still get so many other people where they try to push them on the carpet. And that's now why we get um, one of the director. In fact, the one she, now she be the ogre on top the um, office of the public defender for inside Lagos State. Now make we read about her because as she said, you're going to need to understand where she they come from and how to take, how she take reach the position where she did so. Now she be called, they be called her to Nigerian Bar for inside 1991. She be actually start her career for one of the chambers um, as a junior counsel for 1992. And from there, she moved to another chamber where she can't enter fully um, litigation practice. Now for 1994, she be joined the civil service working with the Lagos State uh, Ministry of Justice as a legal officer one in the Directorate of Public Prosecution where she can't become well done and they will call and go down. So you both go say a seasoned public prosecutor, she can't rise from there to the post of the chief state counsel. Now for inside 2004, then we transfer her to the office of the public defender where she be rise to the post of director. For September of 2015, they be transferred him to um, Directorate of Civil Litigation, where she later come become director on top of advisory and legal services on top of the Lagos State Waste Management Authority, will be LOMA. Now for January 2018, then transfer him back to the Ministry of Justice, where she be get some brief um, stay at the Directorate for Citizens' Rights. For April 2018, she later come become the director um, the director office, she can't become the director on top of the office of the public defender. She get a master's degree for inside law from University of Lagos. And aside from this, um, she actually don't get better training for inside Nigeria and um, beyond. You're going to need help me make welcome Mrs. Olayinka, uh, Mrs. Ad Adenrere Olayinka Adeyemi in the studio. You're welcome. We're so happy to have you, ma'am. Good morning, Nigeria. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, ma. Yes. Now, we'll talk about this domestic violence because um, we know, say, for inside Nigeria here, domestic violence, now, nah, something where they happen. Some people don't even know, say, they're even victim of domestic violence. Some people don't even know the signs. So, maybe we will first start with the definition of domestic violence. What's it be domestic violence? Okay. As a lawyer, we know feel defined, but we go describe them. Um, domestic violence is a deliberate action and persistent action. Threatening action like threatening behavior or violence or abuse between um, adults who are in intimate um, relationship, whether now girlfriend, boyfriend, um, wife, husband, or even when they don't leave themselves, because sometimes when they don't leave themselves, such can still happen, or within the family, the family members. So this action is um, the violence that happened between them. Um, and I say deliberate and persistent. So, you know, we say uh, one person slap one time and that one don't become domestic violence. The thing must be ha to have been happening serially, several times, persistently, before you now say, ah, now domestic violence, they happen to this place, this person. And it cuts across everybody, whether it be rich or poor, um, educated, non educated, it does not matter your status in life can cut across all strata of uh, the society. So and that's one now. Uh, that's what, what we they call domestic, domestic violence. violence. And you get different forms. Mm, okay. Different forms. We're going to the different forms. But right now, I'm going to leave our phone lines open for everybody where they're out there. For you where they're out there where you want to send in your questions on top of domestic violence, to the director of the, pub, the Office of the Public Defender for Lagos State, she's there with us, and uh, she's there to answer your questions directly as you send and come. Now, you feel to send them on top of WhatsApp machine, Maybe 0809 032 Now, if you don't want to put your name, we're going to understand the situation because we know that this is a very sensitive situation when it comes to domestic violence and in some cases abuse, uh, whether it's a small pequino, whether it's an adult, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman. Just feel free to send us your message if you want to ask, ask her question on top 0809 032 
um, that now the number, the WhatsApp number where you feel to send your message on top. Now you really talk about, you not already describe what in domestic violence be, and you they tell if you want to tell us about some of the forms. Yes. Look, we enter some of the forms of the okay. domestic violence. Okay, the, there's different forms of domestic violence. We get the um, physical one where we say they go beat, you go see all the marks and the beating now almost all the time. Um, that one are physical abuse. Then the another one be um, psychological abuse. This one be say, um, you go the nag. This one, it come on well, well with women where they nag them um, husband. Because domestic violence not be only for men, I mean, not be only for women, also for men also too. So the one way women they do, not to nag, not to talk. Sometimes we are, some women will talk to their husband like say, that person, maybe my, uh, God created them. So this is another one. And then the other one is um, the one you are talking about, um, sexual abuse for children, for adults, within the same relationship that we are talking about. So that's another form of um, um, domestic violence. We even get to one, then they call them widow's rights. We we'll say um, it's, very co it's very common in Africa where you, um, when the husband dies, it is the woman that, I mean, the wife that will be, uh, you know, um, alleged to have killed the husband. And then they could now say, make you go do some rights, like um, drink the water of dead, dead, body, dead body, sleep with shave, the dead body for night, you know, head and, and, and all that. That one also then classify under domestic violence. We get also forced prostitution and even forced uh, I mean, early marriage. Maybe say my girls between um, nine to um, sixteen, we then go take go marry somebody. Some people we the old well we pass them we under our law, particularly in legal states, is illegal. So these are some of the forms of uh, domestic violence. And who fit actually commits this kind of badness in terms of who fit do them? Because we they hear a lot of situation where they say now nah, man they do woman. And then very few times we hear of women doing men. Mm. Who will fit actually perpetrate them? The statistic where we get, we say, now men, now they do and pass women. We get from women too, where they do the domestic violence. But the largest, uh, the, the largest number of um, the, the data that we have is perpetrated by men. It's men that do it. But it does not matter who, even, you know, because what's the underlying factor in domestic violence is that the person where they perpetrate them won't control the victim. So it can be either way. Even for the woman, where they, he won't control the husband. Or for the man, he wants to control his partner. So if the, the person who is perpetrating it wants to control you know, the other person. So it, it, it doesn't matter um, who is involved as long as we have this unbalanced power um, relationship. Where we have unbalanced power relationship, that's when you have domestic violence. And just like I said, the statistics shows that men do it more than women. For men, um, they can easily get out of the relationship. You know, when, when your wife is nagging, you can go out and get another wife or get married and, and all that. But for women, it's always very, very difficult because of so many factors involved. Now, a woman might not have, um, they are called the vulnerable. They don't have, some of them do not have a work, they don't have a job, um, and then the society, the way society see women that, ah, oh, she has left, left her husband's place, ah, he don't live, uh -huh. nah, because, you know, they listen to him, husband, and, and, and all this type of um, talk. So it's, it's sometimes very difficult for women to live, and that's why it is so much on women than men. Mm. Now, looking at, um, um, there are situations where, we know say now the woman they abuse the man mm. and the man because the, is a man quote unquote uh, it is a shame to come out i can't talk i'm saying actually na, my wife not be the abuser not me be the victim in that kind of situation for that kind of scenario how you how you feel to help that man to come out of that um, whole marriage we know say yes they fit to go get another concubine or a wife or something outside but he will still be in that relationship with that woman and sometimes shame they make these men you know they come outside to come that's why we they do this advocacy all the time because you write say sometimes men uh, you know and it's because of this our uh, cultural thing that okay man na, na man na male you know and then he, he be the head of the family 
So how can you take say, charge? Yes, he must take charge and all that. But really, we see a lot of men going through that. There was a case that came to me. You know, the man came and said we reported his wife and said, you know, uh, this um, this is what was happening and and, and all that. Um, I, I now said, because I wanted to handle it in a very discreet manner, I said, okay, give me the number of your wife. You don't have to go and bring all the formal things that we usually go, write petition and all that, because I could see that for a man to come boldly and, you know, it might have gotten to a very serious stage. So I can't say, make it, give me in the number of um, the wife. I can't, he can't give me, I can't, as I call the wife, as I want to mention the thing will happen. I mentioned the name, I mentioned the... The, the thing will happen. You say, the woman said, then my God, madam, give that phone to my husband. I want to talk to Ram. I can't give him. I said, no. I, he said, I said, give him to Ram. My sister, I never see human beings where they shrink before. This man shrank before me. Hmm. And the next thing, he just ran and left my, you know, presence. Oh, I was calling him, oh, God, wait. God, wait. We know how we go talk him. You know, and, and all that. You know, um, um, I realized that the, the control over that man was so much that even mere phone call, you know, was enough to destabilize the man totally. Mm. So it did for man, it did for woman. And the thing where we did talk, we say, make them come to our office, office of the public defender. We know how we go talk them. We know how we go drown with them. Make them no come, get to the stage where we say, now beat them, come they beat the woman, because for legal state, it is wrong. If you do that, you will be prosecuted mm. in court. So that's why we are saying, if you are in any relationship that is abusive, the best thing for you is to leave that um, relationship. Come to an office like us, where we will handle it professionally, you know, between the two uh, parties. You know, parties. And it's, it is free. It is it's free. actually free of charge. It is. That is what legal state has given to all its citizens, irrespective of who you are, whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa. As long as you live inside As long as you are living, even states. foreigners who are there, as long as you are living here. We had a case where one Togolese and the, you know, um, her partner, you know, had to bring the case to, 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 to the office. Yeah. Hmm. Now, um, according to reports what they get, what they realize, so what, they, what they hear them, and based on the report what they see on top um, print media, say domestic violence, they share it because of possibly ignorance. You know, people don't know their rights. Uh, people don't know where they should call it quit and walk away. And people, they fear of societal stigmatization. Let's get to the myth of domestic violence. Yes, um, you know, I, I, I like what you have just brought because there are certain beliefs that we get where we think, say, uh, if we know drunk, um, heavens go fall. But in actual fact, it they make to prolong domestic violence. For instance, they will say, uh, now the man be the head of the family. So the woman must sub sub submit. submit. Yes, there's, no, there's no, nothing bad about that, that, you know, for good relationship and all that. But where it now gets to the stage where the other party is now beating the, 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 um, the submissive person, it becomes something else. Similarly, then we'll say, um, the person where they uh, do that thing, maybe you don't drink and uh, make the wife pardon her. You know, say, if you don't drink, uh, you go, you go they, um, do um, domestic violence. But in actual fact, we don't see, say, no, now lie. Now don't drink, now you just strengthen them. Now the thing where you won't do. Mm. Okay? Now the thing where you won't do. Or uh, if they get angry, uh, because if they get angry, you know, say your husband uh, is very quick to anger. So therefore, you should have to just cool down for him and all that. No. For domestic violence, we don't see, say, that person where you say if they get angry, if he did with his colleagues, if he did with his friends, if he did in any other relationship, you know, they use that anger, they destroy things or beat them or anything. But particularly, it's targeted towards certain people, and that is the intimate partner, their spouse or their children and, and, and all that. So in essence is that if there is anybody that is excessively ang angry, I mean, gets angry quickly and, and all that, there's possibility that there will be domestic violence within that relationship. And our advice is always that it's better that you leave that relationship before you get killed, because mm. a lot of people through that period, um, thing, 
they get maimed. A, a woman came to our office about last week, you know, with backache, and it was almost, you know, limping, you know. And because of this type of thing, he said, uh, well, and in fact, well, she was even the one telling us, because she didn't even realize what was wrong. Okay. She, saw, she was telling me that, uh, Madam, if the thing be say, uh, I know say he love me, but she, he did get angry quick. He did. The, the, the situation is that she was even forced to come to my office. And they get angry quick. And the last time and she, he beat me, it took me to, um, I, I, I don't know, lash, okay. circulate. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how, I how can go one joint. Yes, just one, one joint. joint. Yes. Go feel themselves. And, just to compensate uh, uh, for so the action. Compensate. When they... so, and, and he said, and if, uh, when he did that, he thought uh, he has forgotten about his anger and this and that and that. He, she went back. And then before the last one that... Um, she had um, back, uh, back uh, dislocation, I mean, hip dislocation Whoa. and all that, you know. I, I even had to compel her to come to my office because what we have also found out that one of the challenges that we face is even the women themselves because the parents came to report the matter. But he said until we see the woman because if the parents are doing anything to help the woman and she's not help, ready to be helped, she will go back to that relationship and then the abuse will... Will, will, will continue. So these are some of the things that, you know, people feel that, okay, um, I don't want to leave. He loves me hmm. and all that. And sometimes even the, the myth that, ah, um, you know, in Yoruba, they said, Adele Moshu, I don't know how I would translate that, but uh, that, you know, once you get married, you don't have to leave your, your, home. Hus you, your, your husband's home. Well, if you do that, there's some sort of stigmatization, you know, on, on you and all that. But we, we have now realized that, our parents, uh, the society, are also contributing to the perpetration of this. Oh, um, very true. I yes. mean, it gets some people where, um, because of the position where they hold for society, maybe mm. in their religious organization yes. or in their office, they know if you come outside, actually come talk, waiting, they happen to them for inside, um, for inside their own house. And they say it's, it's easier said than done. For some women, or if not the case of the man, um, they, they look and say, where do I go to? Where do I start from? Especially if the, their partner may be the sole responsibility in terms of finances for inside the home. So this brings me to the next question. Which protection day against victims of domestic violence? For, for Lagos States, uh, you, you know, you, we, we have to be very, very, you know, grateful to Lagos State government because Lagos State government has provided so many platforms where you can get redress. For instance, for Office of the Public Defender. Yeah, and it is free of charge. Office of the Public Defender, we can take this matter to court. What we do is to make sure that the victim gets I mean, justice. Uh, justice. So we have also the, the domestic violence arrest and sexual response team that does similar thing that we do. And we have the family court where we can go to and get a restraining order and you know everything that to protect the, 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 the victim. Also, the law is there, domestic violence law. So all these things are there. It's just for the victim to tap into it once they are ready because it's, 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 it's something that we cannot force them to do sometimes because um, uh, they have to come willingly. So um, that's why we, the, our advocacy is that people around them should give them that moral support. Because sometimes they may not even want to leave the abusive relationship. Mm. But when they have been assured, their fear is that where would they go to? How are they going to you survive. Know, survive? Where are they going to begin from? But because of all this platform Lagos State has provided, they can be assured that if it is issue of maintenance of your children or custody or even taking the educational, you know, um, um, the education of your children, if you, that's what you are afraid of, we can always go to court to get court order to, to compel this man to do that. Sometimes we don't even need to even go to court order, get court order. Uh, in my office, sometimes we we'll just sit down and tell them. By the time the man sees that he's facing, he's going to face some sort of prosecution, or we are taking the matter to court, they usually willingly want to do what is right for the children because they know that they have 
that obligation towards the children and towards the, 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 the family. Mm, Ma, as you just talk children, you just, you, 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 the next question is taking it a step, a step higher. But for people waiting for house, um, just in case you don't wonder, because I know say a lot of people get questions to ask, but because of time also, we're not going to answer all the questions. I mean, they're good to, for you to know, say this particular segment is going to share like, every Thursday. Every Thursday, um, the director from the Office of the Public Defender for Lagos State go there inside the studio to choke them out on top domestic violence, on top abuse, be it sexual abuse, be it for that of the child or the mother, the father. So many things we're concerned defending the citizens of Lagos State. She go there for here every Thursday from 8 o'clock to choke them out on top. Um, so opportunity, good day for you to send in your questions just in case time no day today. Now, my take on um, the very last question I asked before, um, you could tell us where people forget get reach out to you for more information and how they can come and get your services which is free of charge for inside legal state looking at a case where the domestic violence they share it to the woman and the perpetrator is also abusing the child and the mama even though she knows that people know if you go approach and the mama go tell you say i believe my picking now my picking i know what made this case reach the level where they how can that be handled properly now um if you see any of such case please refer that place person to us because for legal states anything that has to do with children we have zero tolerance for sexual abuse, domestic violence against children. Children are very precious to Lagos State. So irrespective of the um, opinion of the mother or anybody surrounding that child, the best interest of that child will be taken care of. And that is what we will do. If you say no one prosecutes the person where they do, now for in pocket with that. If, once we get to know office like my office or any other office or agency in Lagos State, once they get to know, they must to get justice for that child. Beautiful. Now, ma, for people where won't reach out, where, how, where, because now you don't come outside and talk and say, this service won't have the render. For inside, Lagos State, for inside Lagos State, as long as you're living in Lagos State, this service is free of charge. How people feel reach out? Because there are so many situations like this where they happen all around Lagos State every day. Yes. How do they feel reach you for, for, yes. to contact um, you? To people of Lagos State, the Lagos State government has, you know, put up so many um, agencies Office of the Public Defender is one of it. An Office of the Public Defender was created sometimes in 2000. This year it will be 20. To defend the rights of the poor and, you know, people like you. So the place where you feel see us, we day for our head office is in 228 in your road, um, off from Shaw Williams Avenue, um, road, um, Avenue through Lere. It's near to um, Stadium Hotel bus stop. We also get our uh, offices in all the courthouses for Ogba, in Samuel Lilori Courthouse, for um, Ikorodu. We have our office at Candy Johnson Courthouse, for, for Epe, Legali Ayonri, the Courthouse, um, Badagri, Olushola Thomas Courthouse, Ajegunle Office, Sikiru Adagun Courthouse. We even get another new one now for um, uh, Aja, Badori. So every of the courthouses that you have in Lagos State, you go see our office there. And our toll free, if you call that off, uh, number, the number no go you, you no go charge, charge you at all. You know it's take your credit. Now zero seven zero eight zero six zero one zero eight zero. That number, you feel even if you call, you know, so sometimes um network feed they behave somehow. If you call and you know go, you can send text message, you can send WhatsApp message with the receiver. We they also receive uh, you know, messages from all our social medias. I'm at, uh, at our Facebook, you can send to us. Messenger, you can send to us. It's OPD Lagos for Facebook. At our Twitter, it's OPD Lagos. Instagram is OPD Lagos. So um, if, if you don't want even to call, you can send your WhatsApp message to this number where I just called now. We go respond. Once we go, just describe the situation properly for us. And it's not just only domestic violence we they do. We they also do some other, uh, you know, uh, services like if you get somebody for court um, or police station where they won't um, get bail or release, we feel do that one for you. Or if anybody gets any criminal case for for court, you feel do that. Uh, or you day you you get work, you they work for a guy and you no one pay you your salary or your compensation. You get injury and all that. That one too, you feel they can bring call office of the public defender. So those are some of the things that we do, and uh, we will, all our services are free of charge. Thank you so much. Um, this will not be the only time where you go see um, the director on top of the office of the public defender for inside Lagos State. This is not the only time you'll see her for inside our studio. She go there again next Thursday by 8 o'clock. Now we'll go.
her time so that she go get enough time to talk more and opportunity for you yourself to send in your question. Now, very serious situation, I believe, this, um, but our phone lines go also, they open so that you self will call in when that time reach. Thank you so much, Ma, Mrs. Molayinka um, Adeyemi, for coming inside um, our studio this morning. You'll be the director of the um, Office of the Public Defender for Lagos State. Thank you. Thank for you for having me in Thank here. You. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.